So integration by substitution. So sometimes this is the part two of the antiderivatives part one. Sometimes is hindi ito nagagamit yung mga basic integration or yung mga properties natin kanina kasi nga may composite function. So yung may derivatives natin. Um, hindi natin nagagamit yung iba kasi nga doon na nga pumasok yung chain rule, yung implicit differentiation. So mamaya may makikita nyo yung general power rule for integration, um, the upgraded um, integration rules or the UIR. UIR. But um, for this, uh, meron silang suggested solution. Uh, meron tayong two parts which is the power recognition and the change of variables. But we will study on this for the introduction. So recall that for the differentiable function y and u such that y is equal to f of u and u is equal to g of x, the derivative of the composite function f of g of x can obtain as follows. So the f of g of x is a composite function. Um, recall your general mathematics, lesson 1 or lesson 2, the composite function. So the derivatives of this is f prime g of x multiplied by g prime x. Um, may mga similar na ganito sa so derivatives. I believe that's product rule if I'm not mistaken. Then, from the definition of derivative, etong equation na to, you can um, form this or write this in the integral form. So, balik na rin ulit natin. Di ba ba nalit na? Kasi napunta siya dito. Basta ito napunta siya dito. Right? So, alam naman natin na yung capital F is antiderivative of F. So, F of G of X multiplied to G prime of X with respect to X is equal to capital F if G of X plus C. So, penalitan na. Hindi na ginawang F prime, ginawa ng small cups F. Pero same lang naman yung answer. Okay, let's head on with that. So, kanina sinasabi ko yung pattern recognition and changes of variables. But first, we will talk about pattern recognition. The pattern recognition is more on the term. Familiarity with each of the rules. So, familiarize nyo lang yung mga basic integration rules para ma-facilitate nyo yung mga patterns. So, ang goal ng pattern recognition is ma-integrate nyo at sight yung easily recognizable integrants. And you can use this. So, f of g of x g multiplied by g prime of x with respect to x is equal to f of g of x plus c. So, f is the outside function. Let's write that. Para din yung The outside function. I will write function as f and g of x is the inside function. And g prime x is the derivative of the inside function. Derivative, derivative of inside function. Yeah. So don't forget this because it can help you. Yes. It can really help you. So let's go with the next slide. So we have example here. Recognize the f of g of x, multiply the g prime of x pattern, and then find the integral. Number one is the indefinite integral of cube quantity of x squared plus 5, five multiplied to 2 of x with respect to x. And number two is indefinite integral of 3 seconds second squared multiplied to 3x with respect to x. Find your solution. First is in g of x natin is x squared plus 5. And we know na yung x squared plus 5 natin, yung derivative niya is 2x, right? So, um, yung f of g of x natin 
is yun yung x squared plus 5 cubed natin. So, we must recognize that the integral follows the f of q of x multiplied to g prime of x pattern. Para mas mag-gets nyo, itong x squared plus 5 natin, do that po. Mo multiply na si 2 of x, ba? Tapos, pag in-integrate natin to, syempre, magiging 1 over 2, 2. Ba? Kasi nga, may rule yan na tinusunod natin doon sa theorem 2 or power rule for integration. Kaya, mangyayari is is cancel yung 2, magkita yung x, then Pag natira yung x, magiging ito. Itong part na to gamitan mo ng power rule. So, x squared plus 5, 3 plus 1, over 3 plus 1. Then, magiging this one. Right? So, this is my solution for this. Para sa madali niyang mag -its. Okay, guys? So, um, this part kasi, is the 1 over g prime. Not the x part, uh, the constant g prime. This one. Okay? So, yun nga. We can use or check this by getting the derivative of this answer. Then, dapat na sagot is this. Yeah. Next. Same with that, yung g of x natin is 3x, yung g prime natin is 3. So, derivative of q of x is 3, kaya yung f of q of x natin is second squared 3x, this one. So, nga, ito yung inside, guys. So, kung alam nyo yung integration rule number 8, and theorem 2 natin. Magiging, di ba, 3 seconds squared. Multiply to 3x. Multiply to 1 third. Right? 1 third. 3, 3 seconds squared. 3 seconds squared. Uh, multiply to 3x, multiply to 1. But, syempre nakakalit ito. Um, let's erase this part. Yan. So, yan. So, yung theorem 2 and recalling the IR8. Um, second squared, we know that second squared x is equal to tan x plus c. So, tan 3x plus c. This is constant. So, yan. Um, um, hindi na rin siya magaga. So, yun. 3x plus c. Ito na naman yung pinaka-answer. Okay. Next is, the next uh, solution of this is the change of variables and u substitution. Um, yung idea kasi ng changing variables is nagmula doon sa chain rule. Kung ano yung chain rule nyo yun yung u substitution sa chain rule. Kaya, this function, pwede siya maging this function. Di ba? Mas simpler siya. Mas hindi siya mahirap tignan. But, always remember na ito yung mga um, kinishensya ng variables. Kailangan i-revert back nyo sa original variables nila. Para hindi kayo malito. And huwag nyo, mal huwag nyo kakalimutan yun kasi makamali kayo. So, the next theory uh, or theorem for this is the anti-differentiation of a composing function. Uh, kanina sinasaya pa kanina sa mga examples natin. So, let g be a differentiable function and let the range of g be an integral i if f is continuous on i and f is antiderivative f at i. Then, the indefinite integral of f of g of x multiplied by g prime of x with respect to to x is equal to f of g of x plus c. If u is equal to g of x such that du is equal to g prime of x with respect to x, 
then we have f f of u with respect to u is equal to f of u plus c. Di ba? Mas maganda siya tingnan kapag ganto lang. Sobrang simple na niya. Mas mabili siya solve. Mas mabili siya mas So, let's solve again the number 1 kanina. Yung x squared plus 5 raised cube um, raised 3 multiplied by 2x with respect to x. Then, yung u natin is x squared plus 5. Yung du natin is this part, 2x dx. So, magiging u cube du. Then, we will use the power rule. So, u 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 magiging u raised to 4 over 4 plus c. Then, you will uh, you will revert back the original variables. So, magiging um, fourth, fourth, quant fourth quantity of x squared plus 5 over 4. C. Diba? Mas madali lang siya kaysa kanina na sobrang daming inad or multiply. Mas madali ito. Next is, for this again, um, complete answer and perfect, you will have a 0 0.2 um, additional for your quiz, guys. Next example is use change variables or direct substitution to evaluate the following indefinite integrals, um, which is one indefinite integral, I guess. Para di tayo we have the indefinite integral of x multiplied by the square root of 4x plus 1 with respect to x. So, so the solution of this is sa table kasi natin walang helpful para masagot to. Kaya gagamitin natin siya ng direct substitution, guys. So, let u be 4x plus 1. And yung yung x yung x natin is magiging 1 fourth um, multiplied to one, u minus 1. And yung dx natin magiging 1 fourth du. Kaya mangyari, magiging um, 1 fourth u minus 1 this part ito then square root u this part and 1 for u this part guys then um, isolate um, the like term so isolate 1 over 16 then u um, raise to 3 halves minus u raised to 1 half um, respect to u then use the power rule and we will get to this part then using algebraic manipulation we will have 1 over 40 u raised to 5 halves minus 1 over 24 u raised to 3 halves plus c then we need to revert back guys so the answer is 1 over 40 uh, multiplied to 5 half quantity of 4x plus 1 minus 1 over 24 multiplied to 3 halves quantity of 4x plus 1 plus C. So sobrang haba niya. But you can use direct substitution kapag ganito mga scenario guys. Next is, let's head on with theorem 3. Kaya pa sa aming general power rule for integration. Or, yun yung application ng chain rule dito. So, one of the most common use of situation involves quantities in the integral that are raised to an exponent. So, means na pag n exponent na sa chain rule, di ba? Pag sobrang lang ng exponent, sobrang dami ng, sobrang haba na. So, magiging, kagamit yung power rule, ganyan. But, pag naging u na rin g of x natin, this, mas mapapaikli. Mas hindi siya heavy tingnan. Kasi ang goal lang naman na GPR ay yung integration is mas simple tingnan. And mas ma-express mo siya yung integral as a power of function. Whose derivative is d is found in the integral. So as you can see, on this example, eh, sobrang haba niya tingnan. 3, 3, 5 thirds, x squared, what? But, pag ginamit mo yung GPR, 
mas maganda siya tingnan. Eh, tingnan mo sa number 3, mas mahaba siya tingnan. And sobrang text heavy niya. Parang sa mga uh, ibang students, is sobrang nakakataka siya tingnan. Kasi sobrang haba na equation. Or function. So, yun. Mas maganda tong GPR. Para mas mas, sim- mas, mas simpler yung mga function. O yung integration. But, some integrals cannot apply GPR. Like, on this tree, guys. No, on this tree integrals. Cannot apply GPR. Yeah. So, let's head on with our example. So, the indefinite integral of the fifth quantity of z plus 3 respect to z. The solution of this is your u natin is z plus 3. And yung n natin, or yung exponent natin, is 5. Yung dz natin magiging t. So, magiging at yung ito, naging this one. The definite integral of u raised to 5 um, with respect to u. Mas madali siya tingnan. And you can use the power rule again. And so we have z um, t plus 3 raised to 6 over 6 plus c. Yun yung answer agad. Hindi ka tulad kanina pag ginamit natin yung sobrang daming power rule or sobrang um, daming mga uh, nangyari, di ba? So, yeah, mas maganda na yun to. Or, you can use 1 over 6 multiplied to z plus 3 raised to 6 plus c. Next is, we have the upgraded basic integration rules. So, kaya siya upgraded kasi nga yung x kanina naging u. Let's see. So, as you can see, yung x kanina naging u lang. Yeah. The base. So, um, some numbers or some integration rules. Ganon. But, ne- wait, let's head on, on the next slide. Same with this, x is taking u. So, ano ba yung sinasabi ko? Saan ba yung wala may parehas? Diba? Yan no, naging x. Yung x talaga naging u lang. But, on this slide, makikita nyo, eto, okay pa, naging u lang. But, makikita nyo dito sa arts, arc sine, arc tangent, arc second, naging iba na. Kasi yung dx over um, square root of 1 over x squared, naging a squared minus u squared. Then, naging nagkaroon ng u over a. Then, lahat sila nagkaroon ng u over a. Then, yung arc tan and arc second nagkaroon ng 1 over a. As well as, nagkaroon sila ng a squared. But the si integration rules kanina na basic, yung 1 lang. Ba? So, may proof kasi dito. So, gawin natin yung UR. UIR 30. Um, you can read this para mas ma-check nyo. Or mas maliwan na kayo. Bakit man nagkaiba yan? And on this part, ito na lahat yan. Okay. Let's head next slide guys so example is evaluating the following integral this is the indefinite integral of tan x with respect to x so yung tan x kasi natin is pwede making sin x over cosine x then using the upgraded integration rule number 3 uh, yung u natin is yung cosine x yung du natin is negative sin x dx which makes na pag, din, pag multiply natin both sides by negative 1, magiging negative du is equal to sine x, which is dx. So, this function naging ganito. Naging negative du over u. Then, um, nilabas yung negative sine 
du over u, then nalala niyo yung integration nung pag ganto, magiging negative natural logarithm absolute value u plus c. Then um, revert back yung u natin is yung cosine x, so magiging negative natural logarithm absolute value cosine x plus c. Likewise, if yung u is equal to f x, we have tan u du is equal to negative um, natural logarithm cosine u plus c. Next part. Then, this part, yung cosine nyo kasi is 1 over second, you guys. So, we can also have negative natural logarithm absolute value 1 over second u plus c na mangyayari negative um, natural logarithm 1 minus negative natural logarithm second u absolute second u plus c na magiging I, uh, natural logarithm second u plus c so this is the final answer guys yeah. okay. so dahil doon sa example natin um may mga additional upgraded basic basic integration rules. So, on this part, we have tan x dx magiging negative um, natural logarithm cosine x plus c or natural logarithm second x. Magpatangyan naman yung sine x natin pwede magiging negative natural logarithm cosine x. Yung second x naman natin, um, yung second x plus 10 x negative logarithm um, second x minus tan x plus c. Then, cos second x is equal to natural logarithm, um, absolute value cos second x minus cotangent x, then, para maging plus to, magkaw na negative dito. Then, same with this, sinabi ko na kanina, kaya ka lang ng, yung x ng u. So, if some, um, some problem mas maganda gamitin yung upgraded integration rules. So, nagpamilarize guys sa both table. Yay! So, 